What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are sorting out this little area down here. So as you can see, this area is now completely clear. Even put a little light in there so we can see what's going on. That's good of me, wasn't it? Professional though, so. Uh, the tank is just over here. Looking gorgeous. There's Mo. Tank's looking a bit cloudy because he's uh, on the medicated rapashi at the moment. It just tend to cloud the water a bit. But he's on the road to recovery, so that's Mo. Fed all the other guys as well. Uh, as you can see, I put the extra plants in there. And um, just whilst I'm here, this uh, limnophila floating plant works as a floating plant really well. So if you don't get on with floating plants, like I can't grow floating plants. I can't even, I can't even seem to grow um, duckweed. But that works really well. The roots come down, provide a bit of cover. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up the bits of wood, which I've got all my tools and whatnot, all the wood materials, saw, whatnot there. Uh, cut the cut it all up to size, and I'll put it in so you can sort of see what I mean. Because I'm not too sure if I explain myself too well as to what I'm doing there. So I will see you then. Okay guys, so it's actually a few hours later now. I've cut all my wood and um, as you can see, I've put this this little bit in. This is just basically four uh, little like risers here and a piece of wood on the top, which just makes like a little table basically that the um, I can put all my cables, my aerator, everything under there. And then to hide these wires and stuff at the back there, I've got this piece of wood, which just slides in like so, and then there's a screw at the top uh, that can go in just to hold it in place, but still very easily removed. And then finally, I've got this piece of wood which just pops in there, and then the tank box in there. Can't see any cables, can't see the junk underneath, and uh, yeah, pretty pleased with it really. I've still got a stain it, I've got to fill a couple of holes, um, but that's that area pretty much done. So I've also made a little DIY hood. It was a little bit faffy, but fairly simple. Just like these three bits of wood, a couple of little risers, and then it's sort of held together by this on the top. And then that just slots on there, you know, like a little feeding hatch. Put a little handle in there. I think I've got some in the garage. I'll have a look for them tomorrow. Yeah, it just pops on there and fits nicely on there. So I've got to do a little bit of filling. I've got to stain it. So I'm going to do that now. Um, get the, well, I'm going to do the fills now. And uh, also I've got to wait for the wood glue to dry. So I'll get that done tonight. And then I will see you in the morning because it's actually pretty late. I think it's about midnight and um, I still haven't eaten yet. So I'll get them a couple of little jobs done and I will see you tomorrow. Okay guys, so it is now the following day. Uh, everything's dried nicely. Um, I did do an extra couple of bits last night. So I'll just show you them now. Uh, so we've got the tank here. What I did was I, uh, I added this like little trim to the top. I siliconed it on with some aquarium uh, silicon and uh, I just use like these little things to hold it in place overnight. That's just so I can put like a polycarbonate lid on there because uh, I don't want the water light splattering onto the, the new hood we've just made. Right, so uh, next up I want to, uh, I just need to attach the light into the hood. Uh, it came with these little brackets. So I'm just gonna put them in there, attach it. I've got this, is the Interpet Ecomax LED Tropical Light. I don't, it's not like a really expensive one or anything, but I think with it being quite a small tank, it's not going to need like that much light. And um, you know, we're only going to be growing easy plants in there. So I'll attach that. Right, let's put it all together. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, but uh, let's try the light out. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. That right, is looking good. So there we go, a little close up for you. Added a few rocks on the top there, spruce it up a bit. And uh, yeah, pleased with that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Tell you what, I'll just, I'll just turn the lights off, the main lights off, and we'll have a little look. 
Oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. Yep, pleased with that. Right, that about brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please uh, drop a little like, maybe a comment. And if you want to see me set this tank up using the deep sand bed father fish method, I will see you on the next one.